Haiti. Population, 9 million people. Main industry, agriculture. Located to the northern tip of the Caribbean chain, Haiti shares a landmass with the Dominican Republic. The country has had a turbulent history, no doubt, and in January 2010 was devastated by a 7.0 magnitude earthquake that was estimated to have taken more than 300,000 lives. Yet the population pressed on. The Haiti Bureau of Standards, BHN, was inaugurated in 2012 with its standards and metrology services forming the foundation of the country's technical infrastructure for quality and the evaluation of compliance. It is a member of the CARICOM Regional Organization for Standards and Quality, CROSSQ, which has lent technical and financial assistance over the years. Agriculture represents close to 25% of the country's gross domestic product. Two-fifths of the country's massive population is said to depend on agriculture through small-scale and subsistence farming. The Haitian Bureau of Standardization is one of the newest members of the cross Q family of 15 member states. But the level of development and progress made by the Bureau in the last three years has really exceeded everybody else's. CrossQ feels confident in focusing resources to support national quality infrastructure development in Haiti in order to aid with this rapid development which has already started. In order to facilitate Haiti's integration in CARICOM, we have translated a number of CARICOM standards into French and Creole to a certain extent with a focus on fresh produce standards as Haiti seeks to export items such as fresh mangoes into Caricom. We are also supporting the training in setting up technical committees to facilitate Haiti's ability to play an active role in the development of Caricom regional standards so that they will no longer be standard takers in the region but rather standard developers. We are also very proud of Haiti's developed metrology or measurement capability in a very short space of time. We have trained a number of measurement experts that we call metrologists at the Bureau, and we are glad to see their knowledge is being put to good use there, especially in the areas of mass or weighing devices fuel measurement systems, and shortly, liquid petroleum gas measurement, as well as it is expected that in this um, workshop that the Minister of Commerce and Industry achieves in very close collaboration with the Ministry of Agriculture and National Resources and Rural Development in Port-au-Prince today that the participants have a better understanding of the importance of quality in order to improve competitivity um, in their industries and the role of quality infrastructure, national quality infrastructure in the development of the agricultural sector. The needs of the agricultural sector in regards to services offered by infrastructure quality inf should be identified. And finally, that an action plan be developed to provide certain um, guidelines for, in order to develop services that respond to the needs of the agricultural sector. In this way, this infrastructure will participate in the development of a national production of agricultural products and agro-industrial products that respond to the demands and the expectations of the markets. This workshop will facilitate the implementation by BHN of an infrastructure that is very 
that has the capacity to deal with challenges that deal with quality. This workshop will also provide a, a means for the private sector to better understand the, un, the importance of quality and standards to make their companies more um, competitive in fishing, um, fruits and vegetables, and uh, transformed agro-processing. In adhering to COSCU, the Haitian Republic has committed, as the other members of CARICOM, to strengthen its quality infrastructure and, in the end, also the regional uh, quality in order to facilitate interregional trade and also between CARICOM and other world markets. This dialogue between national quality infrastructure and the agricultural sector has just been nominated because the Haitian government is putting in place a triannual program 2013 2016 in regards to the agricultural sector we look at the opportunities that benefit the sector at a national le level a regional level and international level in this program the increase of competitivity for our products has a very very important place indeed the status of this sector brings about a promotion of agricultural products in the country in regard to the weakness of quality control and management in regard to food products here in Haiti. This workshop shows the consistency of uh, the joint actions by the Ministry of Agriculture and the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. Two, day, two days ago, the Ministry of Agriculture in Calico validated the document of the unity for the health protection that should normally consecrate the synergy of four entities within the Ministry of Agriculture, which is the service of quarantine, animal protection, vegetal protection, and the Tamarine Laboratory to, uh, for the uh, final composition of the health protection unit that should be should be working in uh, close cooperation with the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, specifically the Haitian the Office of the Haitian Office of uh, Standardization that should allow the state and specifically the agriculture sector to uh, cross over the step of quality for the food that is sold in our restaurants, supermarkets, hotels, certified quality certified products. No need to tell you among the reasons, the second one, that today Haiti has a major opportunity, be it on the Dominican market or based on the convention that we signed with the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos and all the other islands of the Caribbean. Also, the opportunity that we have today to sell in Europe and in the United States. We cannot export uncertified products. This is why. Once again today, the Ministry of Commerce and Industry and the Ministry of Agriculture responded to the President's word of honor that we would export healthy products to other countries and to sell healthy products here. The National Dialogues on Agriculture, led by the CARICOM Regional Organization for Standards and Quality, with funding through the German Metrology Institute, PTB, brings together stakeholders in the agriculture sector to look at areas where quality infrastructure services, namely standards, metrology, accreditation, testing and inspection, can help prepare the sector for trade and export. This process is a demand-driven one that identifies the gaps between the needs of the sector and the services provided by quality infrastructure organizations. With dialogue so far in the Dominican Republic, the Bahamas, Antigua and Dominica, Haiti is the fifth to go through the process to chart a more sustainable and competitive way forward for the sector.
The last one to finish is that the Bureau of Standards in Haiti is a very important organization. Its job is to introduce quality into all the sectors of the economy by helping them adopt standards and then certify goods and services to those quality standards. And in the process, you improve your quality competitiveness of your goods locally, regionally, and internationally for trade. And quality is very important. Um, An action plan is thus being developed with specific responsibilities by the country to address the challenges and needs identified with specific timelines in the main country identified areas of livestock, fishing, plants and crops and agro-processing. The process will be long, but the rewards can be significant for this country with more than 58% of the population living below the poverty line.